Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. PNL, Patreon family. Big up on yourself. I dropped an exclusive on Patreon earlier this afternoon and I'll be dropping another one later. If you're unable to view the videos on Patreon, just send me a message and I will sort it out. We are still navigating. Everything is going to be alright. Just be patient, alright? Now, if you are not yet a part of the PNL Patreon family, click on the link in the description below. Go over to Patreon and sign up. Remember that being a part of the PNL Patreon family is your way of supporting this movement. Enough respect. Now, exactly one year ago, that lady, that mother, that sister, that wife, that daughter, that friend, that auntie, that cousin, her name is Chantal Blake McCullough. She was brutally murdered by someone very, very close to her. And her body was dumped in a precipice. One year later, the questions are, what is the state of the investigation into her death? Has a suspect been identified by the investigators? Has the family of Chantal been given any update about the investigation? Now, at the end of the stories, I'm going to be chatting with Chantal's twin sister to find out what has been happening, plus much more. Stand by for that. Now, in today's journey, we are going to go back a bit and we are going to be starting at the border of Westmoreland and St. Elizabeth. Continue to sit back, continue to relax and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Now, we are learning that the Trelawney police and the authorities at the Falmouth cruise ship pier, they are reviewing operations at the pier and pretty soon there will be some changes. This is because yesterday morning, Thursday, January 5, about 11 o'clock, an 86-year-old female tourist of a Florida address. She was seriously injured on the pier. We are learning that she was a cruise ship passenger and the ship had docked at the Falmouth Pier. She was walking on the pier when she was hit down by a Toyota highest minibus being driven by a 77-year-old tour bus operator of a Trelawney address. We are told that she fell and hit her head. Her left foot was also injured. She was taken to a nearby medical facility where she was treated. Happily, she's still here with us. So, like I said, changes will be coming to the pier shortly. In this next incident, detectives attached to the Westmoreland Sissoka branch. They have arrested and charged a 47 year old man for hold on and take away offenses. The allegations are that this took place on the afternoon of Friday. December 30, 2022, about 4.30. It is alleged to have taken place at Hopeton in the parish of Westmoreland. So, this is the allegation. A 20-year-old female, she was working at a certain establishment in the area. It is said that a man who this female knows very well was at the establishment. His name is Richard Crooks. He is 47 years old and he is living at Lennox Bigoods District. In the parish of Westmoreland. The allegations are that the 20-year-old female, she asked this man whose bike was parked nearby to carry her to an ATM in Newmarket so that she could withdraw some money. It is said that Richard, he agreed and he left with this female on the bike. It is further alleged that on the way to Newmarket, Richard, he stopped in some bushes off the road held down the female and did you know what with her by force and against her will. A report was subsequently made to the police. Later that same day, Richard was picked up by the police in the Lennox Bigoods community after he was pointed out by the female. He was subsequently arrested and charged and he'll be going to the court on Tuesday to face a judge. This next incident, it took place at Mount Plymouth in Leeds, in the parish of St. Elizabeth. We are learning that a farmer, his name is Mr. Stanford Baker, but he's popularly known as Fudd. 
Ford was 82 years old. We are told that Ford, he was last seen alive on Wednesday morning, January 4, 2023, about 10 o'clock in his community. He was not seen Wednesday night. Yesterday morning, Thursday, January 5, 2023, he was not seen either. It is said that Ford, he's usually seen early in the mornings. Relatives became concerned and they started searching for him. They went to his home and they noticed that a shed in the yard was locked. They forced open the shed and when they entered, there was 82-year-old Ford. He was lying face down in a pool of blood. The police were called and when they inspected Ford's body, they realized that his throat was cut. He appeared to have died from the previous day. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Now, in the final story for today, on Thursday night, January 6, 2022, about 9 o'clock, exactly one year ago, Shane McCalla, he went to the Matilda's Corner police station and he made a report to the police. He reported that his wife was missing. He told the police that earlier that day, he left his wife at the old toll exit at Belmont Park in Old Arbor in the parish of St. Catherine. He told the police he left her there for someone to pick her up, to take her to Kingston to make a report at the fraud squad. This was officially what Shane told the police and that report is in a station diary at the Matilda's Corner Police Station. Unless... <laughs> now, Saturday, January 8th, 2022, two days after Shane made that report to the police, Sheehan spoke to one of Chantal's aunt on the telephone. And what did Sheehan tell this aunt? I tell you what. Don't take my words for it. Here is Sheehan McCalla in his own words. Listen to this. Hey, and I didn't tell every single fool. And I hear from Sheehan. Yes, I'm going to really get me upset. Because I am grieving and even the let me stop right here. Let me stop right here. You heard that a while ago? This was two days after Chantal went missing. She and Makala, her husband, the last person who she was seen with. He was the only person in the world at that time who was grieving. Listen again and listen some more. And that is every single soul. And I hear from the church, it's just like, oh, yeah, from the church. It's going to really get me upset. Because I am grieving, and he, you know, they might take me and say, I'm pleased to 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 say, I'm pleased what part you think me can go because like we, 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 I went to my father because, because I couldn't go to evil because of the kids I went to the lawyer office and she, she never come here you follow me? okay so she was to go to the lawyer office in Kingston? in Kingston yeah okay and she not end up reaching at the lawyer office? no so what part you leave her in a town or a whole harbor? I leave her in a whole harbor the biggest of the town you know we can turn to whole harbor here yeah, right, uh, right down there, so where you're good on that. I leave her at the beach, and I say, a friend, for instance, a friend of a picker, and I just say, him. And then I say, him. She so, no, no, it's a fat one, a she. And she take her, 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 she take he told the police that she was supposed to be going to the fraud squad. Now, he's telling Chantal's aunt about liar office. Those two statements 
cannot be true. So, acting on Shane's report, the JCF, they issued a missing persons bulletin regarding Chantal Blake Makala. Chantal, she was 26 years old at the time she went missing. She was the mother of four children, all fathered by Shane. Chantal, she was an assistant director at SM Quality Construction. That company is based in St. Catherine. And Shane Makala, he was the managing director of SM Quality Construction. And if you should do a Google search of SM Quality Construction, you would see that this is not no small fry company. They have been the recipient of several government contracts, including a 1.7 billion Jamaican dollars contract in 2017 to do work at the Cornwall Regional Hospital. So, truth be told, being the managing director for such a company, you are a real top man. Not true. Yeah, man, you're supposed to have some serious links. Now, we have carried several stories about Shane and Chantal Makala on this channel. We have spoken to Chantal's twin sister, who has been a one-woman campaign to get justice for her sister. We have also spoken to their mother. On Sunday, May 15, 2022, four months after Chantal went missing, skeletal remains were found in bushes at Droground District. Boys' content in the parish of St. Catherine. Also recovered from the scene were a blue plastic tarpaulin, two pieces of rope, one wig, one blouse, and a pair of blue jeans pants. In July 2022, DNA results prove that the skeletal remains that were found were that of Chantal Blake Makala. But by then, her husband Shane, he had left with the five children to Canada, Chantal's four and one from a previous relationship. Shane Makala, he was never ever named a person of interest or a suspect by the police force in Jamaica. A few months ago, Shane, he posted this on his LinkedIn profile. It is on your screen. It says, I would like to get a job in Canada on a farm. Willing to work, but it got to be visa sponsorship so jamaican workers in canada are persons who may have employed shane mccullough based on all that i have just said do you think you are safe to have someone like shane mccullough around you you think so <laughs> so i caught up with chevelle this morning and here is what chevelle had to say listen to this hello Hi, Chavel. Morning, morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Mm, how are you doing? Okay, no, I'm, I'm hanging in there. Yeah. Uh, it's been a year now since Chantel. Well, today is the, 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 the one year anniversary, right? Since she, she went missing. Mm hmm yeah. So, 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 what has been happening? What has been happening since... <laughs> Or, 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 I should ask you, is anything happening? Well, based on based on what I know, it just it just seems like um ever since it's just where it has been, there's no real update, there's no real information. It's just what it was initially. Yes, yes, yes. So, have anybody said anything to you officially? No, we've been communicating, but it's still an investigation. They're still doing their job, but nothing really. To they're still doing their what? They're, they're still doing their what? Their job? They're still doing their investigation, but there's still nothing really to hold on to or to have comfort in. Mm. Up until now, has anybody said she and is wanted for anything? No, not officially, no. Not up until now. He has not been listed as a prime suspect. Nothing like that. No person of interest, nothing at all. And he's in. No. I, I, and I, I understand he's still in Canada. Yeah, based on my yeah, based on my information. Yeah. Has anybody spoken to uh, you or any family members spoken to any of the kids? No, I haven't um, seen or spoken to those kids from the same day I went up there. That would be the seventh. Mm. I haven't spoken or seen any of them. 
How are you coping? How, how are you coping, Chantel? Um, Chavel, I mean, how are you coping? It's, to be honest, it's just rough. And sometimes I think about it, it's really unfair because it's not so much of a difficult case. Mm -hmm. And I hold, it, I hold it so much to the first set of police that had the case. If they had done what they were supposed to do initially, it wouldn't have been this difficult. I mean, they could not save my sister's life, but they could have actually given us justice. Mm -hmm. I begged them to do their due diligence, and no one cared. No, they did absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. And when they wanted to do something, it was just too late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were dreaming a million years, and this would have been something that would be going on for a year. And still nothing at all. Not as far as I am seeing, nothing at all. Because the prime suspect is somewhere in Canada. There is nothing being said about him being wanted. Because it's it, it's not difficult. It's a murder investigation. So if he's we have a we have an extradition treaty with Canada. So if he's wanted, he can be on the next flight to Jamaica tomorrow. But nothing at all. There's no urgency. I mean, you're the last person that saw her and you're her husband, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like he's been treated like he's a victim. He has not been listed. He has not been taken into custody. Nothing like that. It's like, so who do you have as a prime suspect then? Who are you investigating then? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, well, I tell you, I tell you. I, I, I can just imagine what you're going through, you know? I can, I can just imagine. So, 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 so you don't know what's the next step because nobody has been coming saying anything officially to you. No, we're, we're just sitting here, just hoping and praying. That's the only thing we can do because mm. if we can, it, it makes no sense depending on man because they're, they're not going to do their part. We just have to pray and sit and wait on God to do what He's going to do. You know, you know what, you know what, persons have contacted me, you know, saying, me, Papa, I leave that alone, but me not leave it alone because nobody, nobody no bigger than nobody. I mean, the ma I, I, somebody is dead. Somebody is dead, and what? We, we, we must just leave it alone, just like that. Because what? Because she ain't bigger than who? Bigger than anybody else? She ain't no bigger than me. I don't care what friend they have. Huh? Yeah. You know, I've, I've reached out to even Mr. Tuft and he not even respond to send me a message or even make somebody call me to say, you know, I've received your message, my condolences or whatever, whatever. And I know that they're friends. Yes. It's like they don't care and they just don't want to get involved because they don't care and they just shove it under the rug as if she not even exists. Yeah. The, the fact that today is the day. How, how you felt this morning? Well, I didn't see was sleeping now because eventually I just wanted to dodge the day. I just wish we could have just skip over it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's just something that you have to face. And I want to go look at her kitchen and say, Sean, I'm so sorry because we try my best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we try my answer. I don't know what else is left for me to do. You yeah. understand me? I yes. tried my absolute best. And yet still, it, it did nothing. Yes. And it hurt because she would have done the same thing for me, if not even more. Mm -hmm. And for her, mm -hmm. we're twins, but I'm telling you, Chantel is, she's such a peaceful soul. She's selfless, she's loving. She, listen, she wouldn't even hurt a fire. She don't deserve this. She, she don't deserve She don't deserve it one, not at all. Not, not at all. Being killed and dumb just like that. And, and, and our boat, look here, it, she don't deserve it one bit. And we now leave it alone. We now stop calling out Shane Makala. Anywhere him there, and him a hide, them can threaten me all they want to threaten me about last suit and this and that. That's a them business. You need to come back and face him judgment. You need to come back and face it. And we now leave it alone. Chantel, I know say it rough. I know say it rough. Chevel, I keep calling you Chantel. Chevel, I know say it rough, but just hang in there. And anytime, anytime at all, just reach out to me and let me know what's happening, all right? Okay. All right, cool. The injustice continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Joe. Jamaica, criminals, them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaica, 
Everybody them stop.